Hello, it's nice to see you again. I heard that today you would like a, uh, a bit of makeup applied, is that correct? Hmm. A wonderful weekend. Surely get that done for you. Um, so, what would you like to have done as far as the makeup is concerned? Mm-hmm. So, that was a smoky eye and a nude lip. That's certainly possible. Yes, we can absolutely do that. That's a fairly reasonably easy look to accomplish. Yes, I know, sometimes we all need a little bit of help with our makeup. No one started as an expert. Alright, so, um, the, the first thing I would like to do for this makeover is to, apply, um, use a cleaning these wipes are just to cleanse your skin, remove any makeup you may already be wearing, and to refresh your face and have it moisturized and prepared for makeup application. Yep. So allow me to open this. I store these in a ziplock. I know it's not fancy, but it does seal in the moisture and extend the shelf life of this particular product. So, these wipes are lightly scented and hypoallergenic. They should not cause any irritation to your skin and they should leave you feeling refreshed. move this box so I don't bump into it. I'm just going to wipe over your nose, your cheeks, and forehead and chin. So allow me to wipe over your nose, cheeks, crevices of the nose, just to get the most oily spots clean. It tends to gather oil in the crease of most people's noses. Yes, myself included. Alright. moisturizer. It's called Black Orchid Oasis, which also, uh, wouldn't you just love to see a black orchid in real life? I'm not sure that they exist. But yes, here we have our Black Orchid Oasis lotion. It's wonderful for the skin. It helps to minimize pores and make everything smooth and it smells wonderful. Here, would you like to smell? Yes. Alright, so I'll just be collecting a little bit on my finger.
also run down the neck, so that's a frequently neglected part of our body is our, is our necks. So, how does that feel? It feels fresh here. I, if you blow on it, it helps it to cool and stimulate the skin a bit more, so. To allow more product to stick to your skin. It allows the product to be smooth and evenly applied, and it allows the product to last all day long. Yes, it really, primer is a wonderful addition. It can make even cheap eyeshadow look expensive. That's what we love. Alright, so. I'm just going to apply some to my fingertips. And as you can see, the consistency is very strange. Gel texture. And trust me, a little bit goes quite a long way. So I'm just gonna. This really fills in all the lines on your face, it makes everything smooth. So. Again, I'm just going to cover your face down under your, your eyes very gently. I'm going to tap it in. Tap. If you would close your eyes, I'm going to put it over the eye. And I'm going to just gently pat, pat that in. Alright, and now the other eye, just again, gently over. Keep your eyes closed just for another minute. Alright, if you could open your eye and if you could look up for me so I can get just under the rims of your eye. Yeah. That will help me cover up the tired look a little bit later. You don't look too tired, but everyone seems to have a little bit of dark circles under their eyes. So now allow me to get this on your forehead, the rest of your face, and again, down the neck because your neck deserves attention as well. Alright, so now, now for the fun parts. So I have this brush that is saturated in a moisturizing foundation. It's very smooth, very baby soft, and I liked it so much that I bought another one. <laughs> and I don't use it for makeup, I just use it for tracing along my face. It feels so nice, doesn't it? Yeah. I suppose that's why you come to get your makeup done, is because you love feeling the tingles, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter, man or woman. I think men need to appreciate feeling pampered as well. Yeah. Alright, so now for the foundation. And uh, I just wanted to confirm that your color was 53. That will match? Okay, wonderful. So this foundation is wonderful and it just, it's really to even out your complexion. It's not to cover your natural beauty at all because you are very beautiful. Your skin is just lovely, and it, we're gonna bring out the nicest parts of it this way. So I just dab a little on my hand, and I like to mix it with the brush. Yes, it's like built-in artist palette. Alright, so. First off, I'm going to dab this just 
under your eyes to help cover any dark circles. I know finals are coming up, so yeah, look up. Yes, finals are coming up, so you might not be getting enough sleep. It helps to heal your darker circles if you um, drink more water as well, so remember that. I'm just gonna pat that in under your eye. Yeah, pat it in and blend it out. I think the fingertips are underappreciated tools in makeup. Now, um, another area that gets redness is right around the nostrils. So, it's always nice to hide that area as well. Just a little dab here and there. And now, smooth it. Another area we tend to um, see a little bit of detail on the face is on the eyelid. It's always nice to prep the eyelids with with some um, concealer just to cover up. I know because I'm very fair skinned, my veins tend to show on my eyelids, and it's very subtle. But if they're covered up, it happens to make quite a difference. And I need to dab some to the top of your lids, yes. And I'm just going to drag this up just under the brow, so it will fill out the space. Alright, so up under the brow, and here on the side too. Alright, and then it's also nice to lighten the temples and the cheek in preparation for adding some more makeup, so I'll just dab this to the temples. I almost ran out. And just along the top of the cheekbone, adding a little bit of highlight. It really helps bring out the glow on your face. It's very subtle makes a big difference. Alright, so now let me blend this out on your temples. Alright. Okay. Perfect. Your complexion is nice and smooth out right now. Yes. Alright, so you said you'd like a Nude lip. I have just the color. It's this Aroma Therapeutic um, lip gloss. It's by Juice Beauty. It's called the Organic Solution. And when I put it on, I noticed a wonderful orange oil scent, which is right under my nose. It's quite brilliant that someone would have put something aromatherapeutic into something that sits all day just underneath your nostrils. It's amazing what wonders a nice pleasant scent can do to improve a bad day. What's your favorite scent? Mine is lavender, but this orange oil scent is delightful. I'm just going to have you hold your lips like this. It helps smooth out. Yes, just like that. Like that. Can you smell it? Yes. It's wonderful. Okay. Now I'll ask you to purse your lips together and move them back and forth. have a nice nude lip and it was basically effortless. Yeah, I know the orange oil is just... I also love orange oils into things, I suppose I should say. No, 
Now, um, the next thing I like to add is a little bit of blush. Um, you're a coral, right? Or are you more of a pink? I think that if you want to be a little daring, it's okay to put on a little bit of a coral. This is by MAC, and it's my favorite. If you're wondering, the color is called Fleur Power. Um, which is an odd mixture of French and English, if you ask me. So I'm just gonna put my brush in here. Alright. And I'm just going to brush this over your cheek. And actually, I normally put the blush under the eye and sweep up to the temple. I don't like to put blush here. I think these parts of the face are already beautiful, but when you add a little bit of color up near your eyes, it really warms up the smile that you have, which your smile is very beautiful. Alright, so allow me to apply the splash. And up in the temple. and look up with your eyes. I'm going to put just under. Yes, and with the other eye, I'm just going to put just under. It adds a nice little contour. Alright, now I'm going to tap all the blush out and I will just smooth this in gently. And when the blush gets blended, a nice effect. Alright. That looks lovely. Yes. And now on to, of course, the most important part of your face, which is your eyes. Your eyes are the windows to the soul, and it's always nice to decorate your windows, don't you think? So, something that is very neglected by a lot of people happens to be the eyebrows. I find that if you add too dark of a color to the brow, it really harshens up the face. Even if you have black hair, you should only be adding a color like this brown. Or if you're blonde, you should add this honey, honey brown color. If you add something darker than your hair color, unless you're trying to achieve a certain look, it's going to look very harsh on your face. So for you, I will take this brown because that's your hair color. It matches. And now allow me to just fill the brows in. Yes, and I will just cheat out your arch a tiny bit. It will make it look slightly higher. Mm -hmm. So, Alright. That's one brow for and now for the other. Uh -huh. Okay, now for the outer edge. Lovely, lovely. Your brows look great. Alright, so this palette is my favorite, by the way. It's available at Sephora from the brand called Tarte. And it comes in neutral colors for the most part. They're a pretty tame brand if you ask me. But that's not always a bad thing. So. Finally, we're on to the eyes. Your eyelids. lipstick was rolling right across the counter. First I would like to demonstrate this brush. It's um, quite soft. There are two ends to this brush. One is a blunt brush for applying most of the shadow. And 
it's quite nice on the skin. It tingles a little bit. Um, and the other end of the brush is this poofier, softer brush. And it's for blending colors out, which is just wonderful for when you're trying to achieve a smoky eye look. Alright, for the smoky eye, you need to apply a color that is just slightly darker than your skin tone for the base. So I'll use this tip and we'll apply this color. Yes, that's just about the right one. And we're applying this for the base. Close your eye. And we're going to work it up and into the arch and up almost near your brow because this color is very close to your skin tone. The other eye. Working up to the arch. And yes, keep your eyes closed. Alright, so the first layer is applied. Okay, this is my Urban Decay palette. It's wonderful. It's called the Vice palette. So, the next thing I want to add is a color that's a slight uh, warm brown color. I'm going to use this fluffy end to apply it. Um, yes, and this is going to go close your eyes, it's going to go in the crease of your eye and just up toward the arch a bit, not as high as the other one, so yes, it's going to go up the crease and it won't go really on the lid that much at all. Alright, and next we're going to take a deep chocolatey brown and that's going to be applied just along your lash line. So close your eyes. I'm just going to stipple this on. Yes, keep them closed. All right. Now I'm going to take this bushy end. I'm going to blow it out. And I'm going to blend this all in on both of your lids. Along the crease, yeah, relax and close your eyes. Along this crease. And it's really helping to blend it all in and create that smoky look. Okay, so. Next, we're going to take the Accents color, and this is, again, the very deep chocolatey brown. We've blended it out so it appears a bit lighter, and this will add some contrast. So, I'm going to apply it under the eye just a bit, and just over the lid, halfway on each eye. Um, if you could look up, I'll do the bottom of your eyelid. Look down up to the top of your eyelid. Alright. And again on this side, look up, look up for me. Excellent. And look down and I'll do the top corner of the eye. Yes. Alright, and that needs to be blended one more time. So smudging it in. Look up again. Look up. And look down. Alright, your smoky eye is almost complete. I just need to apply one last thing, which can't be neglected. And that is the mascara. 
This is a, another Urban Decay product. And it makes my eyelashes stick up like skyscrapers. When did that fall down? Anyway. Alright, so I'm just going to hold this. If you could blink your eye. Blink. Blink. And one more time. Blink. Excellent. Careful not to open your eyes too wide. If you do, sometimes it can touch the other makeup. Alright, so now for the other eye, we're just going to blink and blink and blink. Excellent. A little bit of mascara can go a long way. Alright, now the final thing um, in this makeover, and it can't be neglected, is that we Use a finishing powder over your whole face to blend the color in that we've added and to seal the makeup so if you decide to go dancing or the weather gets a little bit hot today, you can be assured that your makeup won't melt off or fall down your face, which would be just terrible, I think. Yes. Alright. I'm going to just gently um, apply this, give this powder. It's a mattifying powder. And I'm going to just brush it over your face. Yeah. Dipple it gently on your nose. Alright. I think that your look is complete. And what would a nice makeover be without a light scalp massage to follow up? What I'll do is I will reach behind and just run my fingers over your head and help you relax. And you are absolutely free to take a nap in the chair. We can put a blanket over you and a cup of water will be ready for you when you wake up. So no worries if you doze off. This is quite wonderful.
You look kind of sleepy. I told you, this is pretty relaxing. It's pretty relaxing. Enjoy your makeover for whatever outing you may be on later tonight. I'm sure the nap will help you look your best. Thanks for coming.